Good to be got your gaming news with hot topics, hot tweets, the spiciest memes. I'm Marissa Roberta. And I am Brody Moore. And do not worry, children, daddy's back. Why would you make me say that? <laughs> We're all going to present all the goodies we've gathered, which we will discuss the most likely argue. But luckily for all of us, there is a mute button, and I'm sure we're going to use it very quickly on you today. <laughs> you didn't say it how I wanted you to say it. You're like, don't worry, children. <laughs> daddy's back. You're supposed to be cool about it. Brody. You're the worst. I miss you. <laughs> Remember, we like when you call us that when we're wrong and praise us when we're spitting true. So let's get to it, yes, shall we? Nice. Our first story, we are taking a look at accusations that Black Ops 4 is now pay to win. Hmm. Last week, a new patch was released for Black Ops 4 Blackout Battle Royale that has a lot of people upset. On limited time modes, new blackjack stashes will appear that let players grab all of the black market weapons in your inventory. The catch is that only weapons you've unlocked will appear in those stashes, and since you can only unlock the very powerful guns through loot boxes, accusations that the game is now pay to win are being thrown at Treyarch. Brody, do you think this is pay to win? Does it sound like pay to win to you? Should these loot box guns uh, be banned from Blackout? Daddy's not happy. No, this oh. is, there, was that better for you? No, that, that's <laughs> that's trash. That's stupid. Like our loot boxes already have a bad rep, right? Yeah. Like what's what's EA calling them? S surprise mechanics? <laughs> like like they already have a really bad rep. Mm -hmm. And now you're gonna go ahead and say that you can. It's not just cosmetics. Like you're gonna be able to get an advantage and gameplay for this. Yeah. I thought we went through this already. Video games. I thought we figured this out. And now they're falling back to this. Like, of course you're going to get a lot of hate for this. Like, people aren't going to stand for that anymore. Loot boxes yeah. already have a bad rep, and now they're pay to win. Fine cosmetics. I don't give a crap about yeah. that. Yeah. Um, the thing is, I don't think this is with every game. This is more with the timed games that happen. Like, they just, there are events that happen, just like you have events mm -hmm. in Fortnite, right? This game also has events that happen. So uh, I don't think it's an always thing. I think maybe it, it does have to give incentives to players that are paying money and are buying loot boxes, and maybe people that don't buy loot boxes shouldn't play in these events. Um, there, there has to be a little give and take here, but also remember that these guys want to make money. So how are they going to do that if they're not making money off of black. There, you can make money without making it pay to win. Like you can, oh. but cosmetics are a clear but, proven way to make money. There's yeah. a reason yeah, that, that Epic for, has so much money right yeah, now. Yeah, exactly, that works for Fortnite, but that's obviously not working for a blackout, so. That's because, because their game isn't good anymore. Playing it. Just scrap that game and make your next games good and that, make money off that. No, but why would they scrap a game when there's still so much potential with this one? Everyone was so excited about this one game. Why can't they? And now they're not. Money? Okay, we gotta bring excitement back to our game. Let's make it worse. <laughs> like I, I don't see the logic there. Like it's well, they, they're <laughs> not they're not making it worse. They're making it better for those people who spend money at these it, during these events. The, so, which is a minority of players. It, like they're, so they're just yeah. like, okay. Let's reduce our player base. Well, like no, it, they, it just seems counterintuitive to me. Well, well you can reduce the player base as long as that player base is spending money. If you're getting rid of the people that aren't spending money, then what do they care? Well, we will find out if they make money. I don't know. <laughs> I want some of that money. Let's move on, though. At CEO 2019, over the weekend, two Smash players got into a fight in one of the bathrooms. The fight was between Osiris197 and Riot Lettuce and was apparently started after Osiris got drunk and did a bunch of dumb stuff. Mm. We're not going to go into all the details of the fight itself, but Canadian Smasher Supergirl Kells raised an interesting point. Where was the security? Mm. Apparently, there was very little security at, yeah. at the venue. Um, Marissa, do you think there's like not enough security, or you know, it's like you know, it's weird. Drunk like people's gonna fight. I mean, yeah, drunk people are gonna fight for sure. This happens all the time. But usually, where there's alcohol, there are security guards. There's somebody there that has to do security, right, and is around. Yeah. Um, I don't know. At a lot of these events, like obviously, you've you've TO'd a lot of Smash events. You know, security is expensive. Security is expensive, of course. And these, and we all know that with the Smash community, especially. These events are, they don't make a lot of money, right? Mm -hmm. Like, they get a lot of views, and that's cool, and, and everybody watches, mm -hmm. we're super excited about it, but like, they don't get a lot of support from publishers, so it's hard for these events to actually accrue the money and the funds they need to employ security mm -hmm. guards. So, I'm not sure what the answer is here. I feel like uh, we need a Dr. Disrespect to be in that washroom. So yeah. We could have, <laughs> like, have live streamed it. Live streamed the fact. Now we're taking it to a whole next. Do not yeah. encourage. The <laughs> Jesus. I mean, listen, I, I want to sip the tea here. Like, I want to see, <laughs> I want to see the fight go down. I do search fighting videos <laughs> on YouTube. Like, I, I am that person. We're, we're learning a it's little bit more about Marissa's late night it, YouTube searches It's entertaining. Now. You go down a rabbit hole and then maybe one day you'll find Smashers fighting out in the bathroom. I don't know. That would be exciting to me. I, I really don't think there's much. I mean, like, people got to fight. They got to fight. I mean, if this dude is doing a bunch of dumb stuff, yeah. he needs to get smacked a little bit. That, well, right? Well, listen, children. 
Violence, violence is, is not, not the, the answer. answer. <laughs> Daddy says violence <laughs> is not the answer at all. But uh, I do. I want to know like who won the fight. I want to know like how it started. I do want to know more information about this. And I'm sure if I search on Reddit, we will find all that goodness. Yeah. Uh, but there needs to be definitely more security here because people that are attending these events that don't like to fight, of course, don't want to get into fights and don't want to be hurt. We want children to go to these things and enjoy well, themselves. It's not just like someone was just going in there and swinging fists around, punching people. No, it's it's like something. It was, it was, it was because someone someone was doing dumb stuff, so then and someone's like, it, I, I want to, yeah. yeah. It's not that they deserved it, but they brought it on themselves. <laughs> That's right? they, literally they, the exact same thing. No, 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 they didn't deserve <laughs> it, but it was warranted. <laughs> It's okay. like, like yeah. I'm not surprised yeah. that someone wanted to, you know, pop okay. you in the face with sure, a little sure, knuckle sure. sandwich. Sound logic. All right. <laughs> All right. Listen, speaking of Dr. Disrespect, he's back on Twitch, but he took a different tone to apologize for his illegal E3 stream on Twitter. As a reminder, Dr. Wa the Doc walked into multiple public bathrooms while streaming during the convention, which got him kicked out of E3 and banned from Twitch. Tweeting from his personal account, Guy Beam said that he was trying to stay authentic to the character and that he wasn't thinking. He also said, quote, on behalf of the Dr. Disrespect brand, I apologize for this. Brody, yeah. do you think he should have apologized on behalf of the brand or maybe for himself? Like, he literally, he he is apologizing, but he's not really taking ownership of his own body doing it. It was the doctor's body Yeah, so it's, it. a, it's an interesting, uh, it's actually an interesting conversation mm. to have. He's, he's essentially method acting, right? Yeah. He's just, he's in the character all over. And But the thing is, you have to realize the separation between a character and the actual person, mm. right? You know, him as a person knows that, okay, yeah, that, that wasn't right. I would also never do that. Mm. Um, but it's like the character did and he wasn't thinking. So I, I kind of get the logic. Now, it is a bit of a, cheap cop-out on the other hand too to say like oh it's not me I take no blame for this it was yeah. the character I'm gonna have a chat with that character and make sure they don't do it again right that's what it, it sounds like um, well, yeah I mean even at first when it went down he did blame his director like he said my director has been fired right yeah. like that was what happened at first he's back on twitch now I guess he's been taking a lot of flack too from the community as well but the thing is with all of this he's gotten more subs he's gotten more yeah. follows he's gotten more love because yeah. obviously that controversy does help him so his character is still he is still being that character and he's making a lot of money yeah from that character so I guess on his own personal account which he still has like a butt ton of followers too like people yeah. still love this guy as well they love guy yeah guy. I, I think okay. I think it's an interesting spot he put himself yeah. in and a pretty smart spot because what he can do is if you know he, as long as he doesn't muddle the difference between the doc and himself mm. that uh, he can now create other characters in the future yeah. and people just it's like a Sasha Baron Cohen right you know oh, you have yeah. all these different characters that you For know sure. are not him mm. no one ever talks about like oh Sasha did this thing they talk about that character like Borat, Borat doing yeah. that thing right and so it's it's never the actor so I think if we're gonna do that for actors in movies, you gotta do it the same way for a person like the doc, right? Okay, it's so the doc to blame, the character to blame, not the actor that played okay, the character. Okay, then, then I can create an alter ego where I'm just an absolute shrew and just go around being awful to people, and I can, and that's okay because What do you mean alternate character? character? That's just Marissa. Oh, why did I set him up? You literally, literally, literally I didn't even want to did say it. I didn't even want to say smokes. it, it was so obvious. Jesus. Oh my God, All right, <laughs> our last story <laughs> of the day is focused on Budweiser. Specifically, its parent company has filed trademark applications in the US to trademark the phrases, the official beer of esports, <laughs> the official beer of gaming, and the official beer of gamers. <laughs> Budweiser is currently a sponsor for the Overwatch League and has slowly begun to market more towards esports over the past year. Of course, the application still has yet to be approved and the trademarks were only filed last week. Now, judging off the immediate laughter that came out of, out of your face there, how serious are you taking this? How much money are they paying for this? Yeah, right. how, how much money are they paying for those trademarks? Because those are pretty serious trademarks. To be the official beer of esports, yo, them's them some words, and as they've got to pay a lot of money for that, especially an, with all the yeah. attention going to esports. As, as an esports people myself, yeah, I'm, I don't, I don't <laughs> approve of this endorsement. Like, see, Brody has to be careful though, because <laughs> because Brody, this this well, no, beer could easily sponsor. No, Rocket League is a PG game. There will, okay, there will never be an alcohol. Okay, technic but technically, there are you know Overwatch players that aren't mm -hmm. old enough to drink beer, and they're they technically need to market to a younger audience mm -hmm. there too. So like, but it's still mm -hmm. the official beer of. Overwatch. Yeah. So now what? And you don't think that Epic is going to maybe get in bed with one of these companies? Uh, and that maybe it'll. It make doesn't its matter way if they get in bed with what one of these if companies. Brody I. Or has to push non-alcoholic beer with Rocket League. 
What if that no, happens? That, that's so against my character. You, people you would immediately to. be like, this is dumb. <laughs> like, people would know instantly. Like, <laughs> But oh, yeah, it just 100%. Would, it wouldn't work. Yo, I'm going to watch that and clip all of it and call you out on every single time you plug your well, non alcoholic well, Budweiser. The good thing is that's never going to happen. <laughs> yes, and it I, will. I will, it's going to happen. No, I will put a handshake on that. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah, I'm broke, so I can't do money. Yeah, <laughs> it will not happen. I will straight up not happen. Yeah, we'll see if you buy this. It's so odd to just try to take over all of esports. Like, you, yeah. can't, you can't do it. Like, you can do, again, Overwatch League, you can do a certain things here. You can just take over all esports. Esports is different communities. Yeah, exactly. They don't have the same interests. Absolutely, I do agree with that. And, I, and it kind of plays into the whole fact, too, that like Overwatch still has this kind of presence in the outside world, people that aren't in esports, looking into esports. It seems like Overwatch mm -hmm. is the game because of how much broadcast time it gets, how much yeah. attention it's getting from investors, all the stuff because of franchising, even with Call of Duty as well. So the fact that they're partnered with them, so they now they think that they are the official beer of esports, that really upsets me. Also, the official beer of gamers? No. 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 I will never touch that product. As I'm even a Canadian beer, give me a brark. <laughs> All right, time to move on. It's time to check in with streamers and clip it. Our first clip comes from Goose Grabber, who breaks, scene of Canadians, Goose Grabber, who <laughs> breaks on the pro strats in Mario Wick. Mario Maker JT. <laughs> Stop. I love this game. That was a brilliant series of events. That was, like that, that I'm like, so does he have like some sort of like underground path he's about to yeah, go through? Yeah. No. No. Bye. <laughs> I love the satisfaction he had after he's like, huh. Once he realized yeah. once he realized it worked. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was just like, huh. This is great. <laughs> yeah. That was just fantastic. He's living his best life. So many people are playing that right now. So uh, Mario Maker 2? Yeah, Mario Maker 2. It looks too, like so much too fun. Too much effort for me. It looks so hard. Yeah. But the challenge is real. I feel like you and I should challenge each other. I, I would doubt. I'm totally down you to struggle. You accept the challenge. All right. Are we doing so many handshakes? So many deals <laughs> are being you. made here. This is this is business, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Anyways, Good next up, we have a clip of Pink Sparkles and Asmin Gold getting out of the house for a little sun. Don't do that. What? Uh, you could uh, just I, put it in my pocket. Okay. Put it in my yeah. pocket. So, it rained, oh god, maybe I should have brought sunglasses. Uh, do you uh, want to go? Nah, it's fine. Okay. Uh, it rained a lot here yesterday, it was quite awful. It was very bad. Very, very bad. <laughs> that guy's my spirit animal, straight up. <laughs> Too much World of Warcraft to get out in the sun. It's like it touches his skin. Ah, oh, it burns. It burns. <laughs> I feel that, though. Yeah, I know. I can't even. I've lost all hope in just, like, trying to be out in the sun. I've just been using, like, self-tanner now. <laughs> I, can't, I can't get sun. Like, I just can't. It's too hard. It, it, it burns. It burns. Well, you gotta, you gotta, you know, no pain, no gain. No, it's, it's not good for you either. Like, you really technically shouldn't spend that much time on the sun. You get a little bit of vitamin D, you but need we're vitamin sunscreen. D. Gamers, that is what they, but I, yeah. I found out you actually don't need that much. <laughs> it's, yeah, honestly, well, between, between, well, that, that works too. Uh, yeah. But between five to 30 minutes of direct sunlight to the face, arms, or back uh, will get you <laughs> enough vitamin D for the, Yo, for the week. Hashtag bro science. Bro, it's, right here. it's real facts, he's, bro. He's back. He's fresh, <laughs> just laying down the knowledge. Get your vitamin D. <laughs> uh, Brody, I missed you. Okay, it truly is the best time of day when you scroll through the Twitterverse to bring you all the things the pros bless us, with on the, bless us with on the timeline. Help me. It's been a long weekend. Summer is such a wonderful time of year when you get reminded we should have quit slamming chips and dip after the holiday season. But we didn't, did we, Hugs? He says, oops, I forgot to pack my beach body for CEO. <laughs> Silly me. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> yo, feels. Same, dude. Feels, I'm like, yo. look at that. Feels, I'm going to hunch you in a bit, yo. but it's it's See, not good. It feels, yo. I know. Seriously, no, we've, what are we going to do? Like, uh, what are we actually going to do? Because, like, I can't, I don't fit into any of my pants right now. It's, <laughs> it's an actual issue. Workout stream? Workout stream? Workout stream? What do you want to do? Like, what do you want to do? We'll do IRL workout stream in the studio here. We'll get okay. everybody else involved. You guys all get in your beach pods with us? Seth? Sebi? I think they're all trying to ignore Sebi's us. Into it. All right, we Jordan, got, we got a few. <laughs> absolute no for Jordan. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually thinking probably tomorrow <laughs> I'm going to change my tune and be like, nah. Uh, I'm out okay, as well. let's all do no carbs for like this whole week and see how we feel. But French fries. Okay. So we'll start tomorrow. Right. Anyways, this next tweet from a well-known memer in the Rocket League community is going to trigger Marissa, but let's put it on the board. Spuda says, just donated my life savings to a female streamer and she won't date me. 
That why? I don't get. It. Come on, like. All his life savings, and you can disrespect a man See, like no, that. See, I feel like you're trolling me too. Is he? Is he just trolling? I can't tell. He's because, absolutely no, trolling. No, because in the comments, he keeps going with it though. Like he doesn't let up, and I don't know if he's joking or not. Like it's hard to tell. And then so many other kids that follow him are like, "Oh yeah, me too." Like. Are you really? It's, Do it's, you really think this girl's gonna date you? Because I feel like some of the people that follow him are believing him. No, he's he's definitely. Meme it's so hard in today's day and age of memes and sarcasm, especially online. Sarcasm's yeah. already here, uh, hard to you know decipher. On Twitter, especially. But it, it's getting harder and harder to determine if something's a meme or not anymore. Like, he, where does is it like meta anti meme? Like, does it go back and forth? like how many times is it? It's crazy, man. The internet's crazy, but that's definitely so, a meme. So, like, Don't okay. Worry. It's a meme, fine, and obviously he's joking, like, lols, but children, like, don't, don't follow people on Instagram, okay? Don't follow them on Instagram <laughs> or Twitch or whatever it is just because you think that person will one day want to date you. That's not reality, that, that's, okay? That's, that's not what Spooda's point life. was. That's Spooda's point was making fun of all those people yeah. that think they deserve something because they gave something to a streamer. No, that's that's He's not saying how chill it works. Out. It's not like going to a strip club and paying for a lap dance and thinking that the girl is in love with you because she's spending time with you. You paid for that. Okay? Anyway, let's move on. It happened to my buddy this weekend. Ah, oh let's God. light things up here with some absolute fire cosplay in the Rainbow Six community. Our Six Pro Redeemer says, in honor of the new season, we will pay respect to the new operators. I think I've done it the best. Hashtag knock challenge. <laughs> the crappy cosplays. <laughs> He, he, he had to he had to apologize though after Why? because he, he's like I like to apologize to the one person that I offended putting a plastic bag on my head use paper bags okay plastic is dangerous oh that's so true you're hurting don't the use environment plastic bags children okay <laughs> oh I thought it was an environment thing they're actually concerned about his safety no 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 because you oh, do, you're good. not supposed to put plastic bags over your head I'm I'm assuming I Brody did that a lot I, as a child. I was about to say I have definitely not listened to that rule that my it. parents gave me and definitely had plastic bags over my head mostly because they told me not to you must have been a wonderful child. I was you must amazing. Have given your parents so much joy. Yeah, they love me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on and not discuss that because it's time to get some crowd control. It's time where we show you stuff. <laughs> With games being predominantly online experiences nowadays, it's harder to just pause when your parents need something. Well, this guy's dad found a solution to get his attention. Listen to the comms. What are you doing back here? Ben, please. Smoke. I got window. Oh, yeah, I'll leave Ben with you guys in the tunnels because I'm not mean. Do you want me to go, Tunnels? Dad, what are you talking about? What do you mean, I'm done? No, I'm in the middle of a game. I literally cannot quit right now. Literally, I literally cannot quit right now. Why are you so angry? Don't turn off the computer. He just turned off the computer. <laughs> I mean, the bot will be better, right? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> He's like, he just turned off the cut. Yeah, it just cut. It was the, the timing was impeccable. Absolutely on point. The guy's rip. Perfect. Just how calm he was too. Yeah. Like, I, I feel like be, growing up as a gamer now, we're we're uh, bringing uh, into this world understanding parents. Yeah. Like like if I had a kid and they're like, oh, I'm gonna ranked, I can't quit right now. I'd understand. Yeah. And I, I would wait, right? I wouldn't be like. You would for sure. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I, I'd be like, don't start a new one. Mm -hmm. But like, I'd understand. I'd be like, okay, that's fine. Take yeah, your time and win the match for me. Make me proud. For sure. But this dad maybe comes from an era where, you know, when I was growing up, we had an N64. So like, it's not like we were playing online. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could pause or whatever it was. And even if we did say, um, no, we can't right now. We're in the middle of something. Like, dad would still just come and turn it off because yep. that's the move. As that's this what guy you do. experienced. <laughs> And I love it. You know what? I like parents when they lay on the law. <laughs> that actually makes me really happy. All right, our next one comes from Irnith, who says, or who thought another YouTuber's weird video reminded him of his time in Dark Souls. This is titled, When You Accidentally Enter the Boss Room. <laughs> The, the real talks. So the real talks here, though, is what was that door close? Like, in all honesty, like he lets go the handle to do that. Like, 
<laughs> it was like a snake technique, like he's doing martial arts on the door or something. I, I love that you noticed that over everything else that we just saw there. What the, like, well, see, who the, came up with this idea? I love it so much, let's all go tarps off and pretend we're a boss. I'm, I'm, I'm from the internet, so I've seen a lot of strange things. <laughs> um, so to me, it's like you, you don't often see people with very terrible door closing techniques. <laughs> Think he finds. Oh my God. Okay. Thanks, Freddie. All right. Anyway, to send insight. us off, I'd like to introduce you to my hero. I spent a lot of time in arcades playing uh, Time Crisis when I was younger with friends, mm -hmm. but this man don't need nobody else. <laughs> So much. It, like his, Yo, his technique was on point too. It wasn't like he's just showing up. Like he actually, yeah. like his pedal movements were mm -hmm. sick. No, I love that because you know what? You just gotta live your life sometimes. You just gotta mm -hmm. live your life. You don't need to care what other people think of you. Don't worry about people watching and making fun of you. That somebody could have just been recording him and that, and he didn't know that person. Yeah. Like that he was just, and then he was gonna show all his buddies to make fun of him. No, you own it. You have fun. You live your life. As he long was, as you're not hurting anybody, it. live it. That's so, okay. So is it really acceptable now for me to put my VR headset on when I'm on the bus and just you know? Be in the moment. Uh, I mean, uh, that's fine. I don't see what nice. I don't think Approval anything's wrong with that. As long as you're paying. Well, the thing is, like, as long as you're not taking up two seats, like, you don't have your bag on the ground, like, you're not being disrespectful to anybody around you. See, the thing is, though, if, you, if a pregnant lady comes in or an old lady comes in, you should give up your seat. You can't see that because you're living in VR. That's so true. maybe not in transit. And don't play Beat Saber. And. <laughs> Yeah, no, no VR in transit. Just save that for home, okay? Uh, that's it for Unmuted. Remember, you can hit us up on our socials. Just say hi or send us some stuff to react to. We like it when you do that. Find us everywhere at Squad State, and we'll see you tomorrow.